Welcome, 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 my lovelies. Um, I hope you are all well at the moment. Um, and hope you're all feeling happy today or this evening, depending on when you're looking at the video. <laughs> um, cheers. A fresh cup of tea, actually made by myself. Who knew? Who cared? <laughs> um, yes, John Boy is uh, out today. This is um, in the morning. It's now... 11 o'clock in the morning, um, but John Boy's gone out for the day visiting family, gone to see grandchildren, um, so he'll be out all day. Um, but the post arrived while um, uh, while I was here on my own. Um, by the way, you'll see this is all in a different direction from my usual videos, um, because I'm in the middle of making a video doing um, some vases. Um, so I'm, I'm just topping up my Etsy shop. Yay! I hear some of you say. Um, so yes, yeah, so I've I may do one or two videos or three videos while um, this is all on the go. Um, so you may see this um, this angle on the camera a few times or a couple of times at least. Um, but yes, anyway. So the door went and it was the post, and I have a parcel from Kathleen. One of our family members. Hello, Kathleen. I'm sure you're watching. Um, I, <laughs> Kathleen decided she wanted to send me something to ship something through the post. And it's come all the way from the state of New York. Yes. I One of my favourite places. I've been three times over my lifetime. I'd love to go again. I'd love to go with John Boy. We've never been anywhere like that. Uh, we've been to Chicago, but we haven't been to New York, so maybe one day. So, hurrah, Kathleen has decided to send something all the way from there. So, I can't wait to open it, and I thought I would share this with you guys, obviously. Um, I don't like opening things without um, other people seeing, especially if it's something to do with our family. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'll uh, move the camera down. Um, onto the worktop here where I'm sitting um, and we'll open this between us and see what it is. Okay, let's get this open. Um, I do like that packaging, the purple with the, it's sort of almost a rubber feel to it with the little circles. Could almost be used in the um, Art Deco on a, a wall somewhere or just in a picture frame, I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> Who cares? Right, okay, I will have to cut this open because it's very uh, well stuck down. I'll be careful. Yes, children, always be careful using an exacto knife because you could cut your fingers off. It's sort of common sense, really. I don't know. This day and age where we have all this health and safety stuff that we have to mention or say um, because uh, if somebody then has an accident they can blame it on you as if you made them do it <laughs> ridiculous anyway right now let's take this out oh I've got a, a card here oh oh look Beautiful. Don't people go to um, a lot of bother and, and, and take time to do things? I think that's absolutely wonderful. It won't peel off, so I'll, I'll cut that there. Yes, people, I like when people have time to do something. Oh, oh look, another hum a hummingbird. That's lovely, oh, beautiful cards. Gosh, we have really had some beautiful cards people have sent us. Oh, what's this? Rich, Men, Rich many thanks for all the inspiration, Kathleen. Oh, bless you, Kathleen. Thank you so much. I'll put that, put that there. Um, I've got a letter here, but I won't, won't read it because it will take a while. 
Um, I'll have a look at this afterwards and just see if it's something that we should uh, that we could uh, read for you. But let's uh, move this out of the way. My God, what is this? What is this? It looks, oh my god, it's a miniature house. Oh, oh, oh god, I'm so excited. Let me take this out. Oh, wow. Sorry my big hands are in the way. <laughs> we'll have to keep all these bits careful, carefully. There's some tiny pieces here, look. It's all that laser cut. And it's from miniaturecrush.com. I've never heard of those, but obviously now I'm going to go and have a look. And it's oh, it's an Art Deco house. Oh wow! Oh wow! <laughs> oh wow! That's so relevant, obviously, um, because of the <laughs> Art Deco house. Oh my God! Obviously, it will go in the house. A house in the ha in the house. Look, <laughs> folks! How oh, oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! I'm so excited. <laughs> oh wow! Well, I will have to, um, what I will do is um, have a good look over it, um, see what needs doing and everything, and then maybe um, I'll do that on a video for you guys. I'll put that back in there, and then you can see it being built. Fantastic. There's little, oh, there's little pieces. Oh, look at the jewellery, the um, little perfume bottles on a tray. <sighs> <laughs> Oh, some people have such good taste, don't they? Look at a little silver tray. Oh, wow. Let me put these. Let's see if I can stand them up for you. Aren't they lovely, the way they're made? They look like very posh perfume bottles, I have to say. And they can go on a on a tray by holding that at the camera right for you to see. Aren't they lovely? Oh look at that one. I actually collect perfume, believe it or not. Well, I'm sure you guys do believe it coming from me. <laughs> but I um not collect just any perfume just for the sake of collecting it but I collect perfumes that I just really enjoy the smell of so um, but I have about I don't know about 35 40 different perfumes I can't stand them all up in one go because I'm too clumsy but that's absolutely lovely really lo oh beautiful and there's something else in here I know we have to always be very careful opening miniatures because you don't know how fragile things are until it's too late. God, I can't believe <laughs> this is just what well, that's wonderful. I never knew you could get an Art Deco miniature house. To put in an art deco house i've seen other oh my god look at the christmas garland oh <laughs> that's fabulous absolutely fabulous and i think to be fair um that's lovely the tiny size of those. 
what I think I will do is wait till John Moy gets home this evening and um, I will show him show him the little gifts here and I'm going to ask him if he would like this for his house one of his houses he does up um, Christmas um, he loves Christmas um, stuff and he's got a house that's all got Christmas stuff in it and he would love that probably over the mantelpiece over the fire something like that or over the front door some something it will go in a lovely place but it will find a lovely lovely home how beautiful wow and these are gorgeous <laughs> absolutely lovely right let me move the camera up and um and just have a quick chat hurrah okay that's <laughs> that's just so so lovely so lovely really is um i started i read the first little paragraph of uh, the letter um and it obviously it sounds to me it sounds like it's something that can be read so i want to read it with you guys so we will do that okay so this is a letter from kathleen right rich one night the lovely couple who owns the art deco house came to me <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I just want to say, Kathleen, that um, and to everyone else, to all, all of you, all our family members, um, when I talk all the time about the people who inhabit the houses that I do, um, and I, they come to me at night and, and have discussions, and sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not so good because I'm redoing things, whatever, um, that is, and other people talk to me and comment to me about these people um, as if they are real people. And in our world, they are. All of them, the people that live in our houses are all real in here. And that is just another, another aspect of actually these people, like the gay couple that, 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 that own this property, actually can go to other people and say and talk to them and give them ideas to pass on to me or say to me absolutely brilliant brilliant this is just keeping our whole community as one big community and i am so passionate about that i really am i'd hate to think that i'm here on my own nobody knowing what i'm doing um just working for customers doing their houses doing my own houses and john boy doing his um, and and nobody can enjoy the fun and excitement of just getting together and talking about these things with their own stuff that they do. So this is the, the I, I cannot thank YouTube enough because it's bringing us together as one big lovely cozy community. So I shall shut up and carry on reading this little letter. It's only it's only that bit there, so I shall read it. So anyway, so the. The, the couple that owned the Art Deco house came to Kathleen one night and said, we need an Art Deco dollhouse for our house. <laughs> Brilliant. I love it. So when I found this lovely kit for one, I knew I needed you needed to have it. With your talent and vision, I'm sure it will be as lovely as the big Art Deco house. I will take so much time doing this, Kathleen. And it won't be all thick and globby with paint. It will be done really, really, believe me, you know me, guys, it will be done well. <laughs> now for the boring stuff. I don't think it's going to be boring. Um, I want to tell you how happy I am to have found your channel. This is what I'm saying. This is brilliant. Uh, you and Julie Warren are the best miniaturists on YouTube. Oh, wow. It's so like with all the stuff I do and the time and the hours I spend, I mean, literally every day, day after day after day, all this effort and everything that I put in for someone to say that that I am one with other people up there is, is brilliant. Thank you for that. And Judy Warren is great. One day I may bump into her because she lives in the UK and she goes to the uh, the fairs. So if I see her one day, I will say hello. I'm sure she knows me. She hasn't said, 
I'm sh I don't think she mentions me on her videos. I don't know. Um, but I've mentioned her quite a few times, and so does everybody else. And quite rightly, she's lovely. She's so calm and just makes you want to sit with her and do things. It's brilliant. So, uh, please keep the great videos coming. I love sitting with a cup of tea. <laughs> and in brackets, I don't drink coffee. <laughs> Even though that is how I pronounce it. <laughs> Kathleen, if we were over in New York <laughs> visiting you, I would just, I start picking up the accents of everywhere I go. Believe me, all the years I lived in Scotland, I ended up saying things that I didn't understand myself. <laughs> Although I was speaking English, saying it in a different accent, even through me. <laughs> Honestly, this is true. <laughs> you know me now, you guys. Um... So anyway, that's how she pronounced it, which I'm so pleased to hear that I'm not the only one. <laughs> um, sitting, uh, drinking and tea and learning from you. It's like sitting with an old friend. Oh, bless you, Kathleen. This is so lovely. So, so lovely. I'm trying to catch up as quickly as I can. I think your gardens are beautiful, as are, as are the cats. <coughs> Our garden's looking so beautiful. that This is the best our garden has looked since I have lived here since 2007. The rose bushes have gone crazy. We're deadheading them all the time. There's more coming back and all the other plants are really flowering well. For some reason, it's been the best year so far, so I cannot complain. Um, and as are the cats. Um, please tell John Boy that his idea with the hallways, with the hidden staircase in the back is ingenious. Yeah. I felt so too. Uh, way too much real estate to waste on hallways and staircases. Exactly, Kathleen. So many of these houses, there's a, a huge, sometimes they're the same size as the rooms, the actual staircases. And when you look at it, it could have sort of nine rooms, but really there's only six. And then you're doing a hallway. This house here, there's like this, but the hallway is so narrow it really is in scale with, with, with the house. So it's not taking up much space at all. But what I've done with it, with the banisters and the, the, the carpets, it looks so comfy and so nice inside. You could put a little desk on the stairwell or a little chair halfway up. So that, that's absolutely perfect. But the big, like John Boy's big Georgian house, that was too much of a waste of real estate. Exactly. Um. So, okay, so... Almost 50 years ago, my family owned a miniatures shop. Oh, wow. Um, I had three large, doll, uh, three large doll houses and boxes of goodies in my dad's basement. Can you imagine a basement with all these goodies in? <laughs> oh, my God. I would just stand there and cry <laughs> with emotion. <laughs> Life went on and I never found the time to get to, get to them. Oh, then COVID hit, and then I became an empty nester. My husband suggested I bring a house over. He may now regret that suggestion. <laughs> Excellent. My dad and sister passed away two months apart. Oh, my mum and my dad passed away ten months apart. Absolutely awful. I'm very sorry to hear that, Kathleen. Um... Being able to just concentrate for a while on my little hobby was very healing, which I absolutely empathise with you. And it's the same with a lot of people. Doing the dollhouse hobby uh, it just helps your mind to relax and take you away from, from the outside world, which is wonderful sometimes. I make it a point to put remembrances of all my family, friends and pets, alive or past, throughout my houses. What a good idea. What a good idea. Well, we've got little Georgies that we've been getting to put in different houses. So when we dress dress them later on, they, they will go in. Um, but yes, I know what you mean. Um, please keep up the good work. I've included a Christmas garland um, I made for John Boy. Hey! That perhaps he could use for his Christmas house. <laughs> exactly what I... Exact. Oh, great minds think alike. 
and the set of perfume bottles I made. Absolutely brilliant. Well, he will really, really enjoy those. He's in, in his Georgian house, he could put the, the um, perfume bottles in the bedroom. Um, we'll see. Um, I'll show him when he gets home and uh, he will uh, he will decide. But yes, absolutely, it will go in the, in the Christmas house. Oh. So I just want to say, folks, thank you so much for watching. Um, and I want to say thank you so much to Kathleen. There's a, a kiss and a, and, a, and a wave from across the pond. Um, absolutely brilliant. Um, I just want to tell you very quickly, just because I'm thinking of New York. Um, years ago when I went there in my late 30s into my 40s, um, on one occasion, uh, me and my partner at the time um, went into Manhattan and uh, we went with one of the cousins, cousin Andrew, I think it was, and um, he knew uh, people in certain places. <coughs> so, um, and he was very well loved in, as, uh, in the local area. Um, and he once took uh, both of us to Madden Two Swords. In, I think it's in Times Square, I can't remember now, but in Manhattan anyway. Um, and uh, we went in and we met the uh, one of the maintenance guys that he knew, he was really friendly with, and they chatted. And then he said, follow us guys, or the, the maintenance guy said. Um, he's was, he was very nice, very uh, greeted us and everything. And we went into the goods elevator and went up. And then we came out of the doorway we went through corridors with all um, big pipes uh, on each side. It was really, um, you know, really behind the scenes stuff. And then we came out of one doorway and we were walking across the roof. When you see up at Madden Two Swords, um, across the roof that's flat. And there, I don't think it's there now, I've got a feeling. I'm sure they would have changed it um, before. But when we were there, there was a huge big hand coming over the, the the top of the roof coming or stand like it was some kind of big huge big model hand and i remember we walked out onto the rooftops uh, of madden two swords and you could see this big structure that looked huge standing underneath it and we had to walk past this massive giant hand and into another doorway and then we went down stairs uh, or an elevator through other passageways and then we opened these he opened this door for us and uh, we all walked out and we were in basically one of the fire exit doors in in Madden Two Swords so he just took us in there um obviously we didn't have to pay to see it <laughs> very exciting i love when things like that happen um and we had a great time um the, the cousin andrew um chatted to his mate and uh, and and me and my partner had a good look round um, and saw Madden Two Swords in New York, which I was so pleased to be able to do because the only one I ever went to was the Madden Two Swords in London uh, next to the planetarium uh, where I had gone as a child. So it was lovely seeing them um, both um, with the different people in, obviously being in, in London and then being in New York. Um, absolutely amazing. So thank you, Kathleen. That just brought back that memory instantly now as i was talking and i thought i would share it with you guys so now i shall love you and leave you um i shall get on with my work i think at the moment i'm doing a video of these vases so i'll get that going and uh, get it on as soon as possible so thank you very very much for watching please stay well and please keep happy until we speak again take care of all bye